to Miss Muses. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a gift exchange. So showing what we got each other. And also we're going to be talking about our 2021 goals at the end of this video. So for anybody who doesn't know, Stephanie's in Thailand right now. Um, I'm still in the United States. And so we kind of are obviously giving our gifts before actually like Christmas. And then also um, I've given yours already, which we'll show later. But first, let's see what Stephanie got me. What'd you get me? Are these pajamas? <laughs> they are, huh? Yeah, they're pajama shorts. They're cute. I like them. They feel so soft. They're like they're like a pink. What did you send me? Do I open it now? Oh, and it's up. Oh, this reminds me, yes, of like Tessa's bride. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute hey a full-on pajama set cute you know me and we walk around that little apartment with these on <laughs> they're so soft and they're thin so it's like they're so um, soft. You know, let's see there's something else in here how did you do it it's a little pouch that says miss me <laughs> It's the first thing with our name on it. Oh my God. <laughs> Where did you get it from? Like this little small business on Etsy. That's cute. Uh, wait, did the letter come with it? The what? The letter. No. Oh. <laughs> well, I wrote a letter, but I wasn't there. My sister dropped it off, but yeah. I don't know if she forgot to put it in the letter. But there was a letter that you could write with your order and then i wrote um for traveling and i said it's symbolic to how far i think like miss muses will go on our terms oh i love that i can't believe it has our name on it like it looks so like <laughs> like unreal yeah oh i love these thank you i really do there's light enough i'm amazed at the fact that it has our name on it <laughs> And then now we'll go and show you what I got Stephanie. So I just dropped off Stephanie's gift at her house. Um, and she's gonna open it now because she's leaving soon. <laughs> she's leaving us. So um, yeah, <laughs> three days from when we're filming this. So Stephanie's gonna open it on camera. Well, first, it's a wonderful surprise. Michelle, she always makes me cupcakes every year for my birthday. It's January 11th, um, and so she made me them this year, and I forgot about it. I just have so many things in my head, so then this was a yeah. wonderful surprise. And fresh cookies. And fresh cookies. Which are actually... <laughs> you know, I love your baking. Michelle's like, a best, like the best baker ever, so. And now, for the star of the show. It's a gift. It's a gift. I actually don't have any gifts, but it could be. You don't? Hard. Stephanie says she can always kind of guess what, like... Is it like a, it's like a toy? <laughs> no. Oh, I just feel something. Okay. My talent is off. I'm Like I said, I have many things going on right now in life. Okay, this card. Michelle always gets me, like, she travels a lot. So she always gets me stuff from places she's been to. And now, what is this? How should I get bird? Yeah. Open the small one first. Oh my god, where'd you get them? On um, uh, Depop. Oh my gosh, Depop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I found them, they made. They're so cute. They remind me of astrology. Oh, that too. But to me, they reminded me of Thailand. Oh, Thailand, yeah. Because we live in the Sun Apartments in Pechavun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a crack, okay? So oh, I, I was like, oh, these should be good. Yeah, our time in Thailand is a set apartment. Mm -hmm. Now the biggest. Yeah. Let's see? Col oh, she got me skincare. Collagen <laughs> hydrogel under eye eye patch. Mm -hmm. I never had these. 
Wait, is it for the flight? Yeah, it's for both the flight and for when you're in quarantine. Because I figured eye patches are better than like full on mask one because you'll be yeah. wearing a mask for most of them. Aww. So I never had these, but I wanted, always wanted to try them. Green tea? <laughs> Maybe green tea. That's cute. Thank you. Exfoliation foot peel. Oh my gosh. I actually need this. This is perfect. Oh, for when I'm walking all them <laughs> miles <laughs> in Thailand. <laughs> I don't know how to open this. I figured it's something you can do like at the beginning of quarantine because it says it like it takes about two weeks to peel like fully like fully finish peeling off oh that's so cute this is so thoughtful since you always talk about your feet <laughs> i don't have a foot fetish or anything <laughs> some eye patches oh it's for the plane but also for quarantine or your stress at teaching oh you know how stressed i get too <laughs> yeah <laughs> finally earrings i got them oh just back off of Depop, they're supposed to have been made in Canada, but the sun reminded me of Thailand and the sun apartments. Do you remember that room vibe, but also spice up your outfits? And then, of, of course, orbs. Obs, probably, like obviously. Oh, obs, obs. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite cupcakes up again, Miss LP. Still the baddest bitch. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet and so thoughtful. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. So now we're gonna go into our 2021 goals and how we plan to achieve them, which is the main part of this video. So every year we kind of set up like expectations or like goals of like things that we want to improve on personally ourselves. And as like you set up goals or resolutions for like the new year, we've noticed that it's just better to set up like a few goals that are attainable um, and like quantifiable in a sense so you can actually plan out how is it that you can achieve those goals. My first one is about procrastination. It's mostly keeping up with um, my all my school work, all my university work. I will be starting a master's degree in January and I really want to make sure that I keep up with everything. Um, I'm a known procrastinator. I tend to leave things to the last minute. If I can do it tomorrow, I will decide to do it tomorrow. Um, and that always ends up adding up. I've had research papers which I plan out um, and then realize that there were other assignments as well. In between those that I procrastinated on and things just always accumulate at the end and I want to make sure that I am not pulling all-nighters at the end of each semester this time around. I've already started kind of planning out how it is I'm gonna plan out my classes. I've started kind of googling YouTube videos like how to study, how to keep organized, um, and cleared out all my folders in my computer to make sure that everything is clean and set up once my classes start and I will have to keep to a schedule um, if I have to tell people or like text friends to like remind me to um, keep me accountable, I will. So that's how I'm going to keep up with that. Number two, um, I'll be doing a master's degree in France. If you haven't seen our past videos, I'm moving to France and I mentioned before that I lived there before and did my study abroad there and I made a lot, a lot of really good friends um, in the program and I made friends um, internationally, like international friends that were also studying in Paris, but I didn't really make French friends. I met a few French people and like that were kind of acquaintances or people that I would say hi to every now and then, but not like really like a French friend that I would hang out with. And I feel like that's just really helpful when learning the language and learning like the, the real culture of a place is to be with someone that's French, uh, like from the place specifically. Um, so that is my goal, to make at least one French friend. Um, there are different ways to achieve this. Uh, I think mostly, I think now I know that it's really about joining things. So I will join something, whether it's a club, volunteering, um, a gym, something that just puts me in an environment where I can't just latch on to um, other international uh, students or people because uh, it's just always a comfort to see someone that's foreign and just kind of latch on to that person because you're both in the same situation but this time I'm going to put myself forward and put myself in a situation where I can't do that. And my last one, Stephanie got me a guitar for my birthday last year and I've been slowly um, learning how to play it, how to like learn the chords and notes and everything like that. So my goal for 2021 is to be able to actually play play guitar. Um, well, I've already started following a few courses online from like YouTube. I joined Skillshare for a few months um, and I've been taking courses there. Finally, I've been feeling like I'm improving. So for 2021, by the end of it, I want to actually be able to play a few songs. Well, um, my main thing is to be able to just transition from chord to chord. Um, 
smoothly. Those are my three goals. They feel pretty attainable, things that I can plan out, um, make a game, game plan on, and having this be a video and like just talking it through with Stephanie and other people will keep me accountable. And we'll see what 2021 has in hold. I'm excited for a lot of things to come. My first goal for 2021 is to improve in Muay Thai. So I've been doing Muay Thai for like a year and a half now and something that I noticed that I need to improve on is my pace and by this I mean my endurance. I need to be able to keep up more because in every Muay Thai session I notice that in the beginning I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong in the middle, I'm doing okay and then I start dying off and then by the end I just have no energy and I'm like dying. So I really want to build up my endurance and how I plan on doing this is I set out two days out of my week to running a mile. Luckily my new apartment complex has a gym so hopefully I can get my butt down there with like no complaints and I'm more motivated to do so. But yeah, I really want to dedicate two days out of the week to running a mile. The two days out of the week may seem too little, um, but in two or three other days of the week, I do plan to go to Muay Thai and that's just like a lot of cardio already in itself. So I think two days is really good for me so I don't lose motivation and also so my body can rest. So my second goal is to write more, which sounds very generic, but I feel like I've definitely fallen off of writing. It used to be like a big passion of mine, but then I just got busy with life, which is fine. Um, but now I still write from time to time, but I noticed that I just write feelings. But what I want to get into writing more is just regular days of my life. I just want to remember the small moments more. And last year, um, and then 2019, early 2020, I lived in Thailand and I wish that I could remember just those little random days because I only have my memory to rely on. So now that I'm back in Thailand and starting a new adventure, I just really want to remember it more when I get older. But so how am I gonna do this, you ask? Great question. So I plan to set out three days out of my week to writing. I'm not going to talk about the page length of how long I'm going to dedicate to dedicate to it, but I'm just going to write the details of my day, whether that day was um, very busy, or whether I did nothing on that day. I just want to um, be able to document it. And I saved the hardest goal for last. So all 365 days of the year, I want to wake up at least 30 minutes than I should, even on the weekends. And what I plan to do in these 30 minutes is one, um, just give gratitude and pray to God. And the second one is stretching. So for those who don't know, I just recently moved to Thailand to teach um, from America. And in order to get here, I have to stay at a two week government approved hotel for quarantine. So because of jet lag, I've been starting the habit of waking up super early. Again, not saying I'm gonna wake up super early um, every day of the year. I'm just plan to wake up 30 minutes earlier than I should. Um, but I've started the habit of stretching and giving a morning prayer and just appreciating just saying all the things mentally um, that I'm grateful for. And I can't explain to you how much that has changed the game for me. I feel so positive. I feel like so protected. I truly feel like um, a closer connection to God because normally I'm just a night prayer, but now I'm adding it to my morning as well. And this is just an amazing habit that I really hope to carry on to 2021 every single day. So to sum up my 2021 goals, it is to build my endurance in Muay Thai, write more, and pray and stretch every single day of 2021. I hope you set out your own and let's try to keep each other accountable here on this thesis. And if anybody's comfortable enough to share their 2021 goals, please comment them below. We would love to hear them. And yes, this is the third outfit. Thank you for watching. Those were our 2021 goals and we hope that that inspired you to create some for yourself and figure out how you're going to achieve them. Our channel is all about lifestyle, intentional living and travel and we're going to be doing a lot of that, especially now that we're finally going into um, the countries that we're going to be living in. Actually, uh, Stephanie, which she's there now, she's in Thailand, her quarantine hotel and I will be leaving very soon. Um, so 2021, here we come. Hope you join us. Bye. Bye.